What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires. You know, it's a momentous day here at the channel, not only because of the news that's going around today we're going to get into, obviously based on the thumbnail and the title, you read it correctly, yes, RDJ appears to be returning in the future of the MCU. I have a lot to say about it, but we also hit 1 million subscribers here at the channel, which is absolutely insane. Thank you to all of you who have subscribed and helped me build this community over the last four years, and I look very forward to sharing the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe with each and every one of you. In the meantime, my time to shine hello, an infamous Twitter scoopster, but one that has been correct many times before, has now seemingly confirmed Robert Downey Jr.'s return to the MCU, this coming just weeks after I did a video explaining that when one of the recent Marvel executives explained Armor Wars upgrade from a TV show to a movie, man, it certainly sounded like he was talking around RDJ's return, and now it seems like this industry insider has gone ahead and confirmed it. We're going to break down exactly where this came from, but more importantly, what this means for his character, where we may see Tony Stark again in the MCU, and what form that will take. We're breaking it all down, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews, to the occasional industry insider report like we're covering today, and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway, which we are going to announce a brand new winner here at the end for a million subscribers, which again, I cannot thank you guys enough. We'll announce the winner of that PS5 at the end of this video. We'll be giving away the next PS5 to coincide with Ant-Man's release, which is just about over a month away. So again, if you want to be entered to win or for the daily comic book giveaway, all you got to do hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, stick around to the end of the video, we get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so today's update comes to us from the infamous Twitter scoopster, but someone who has been right often in the past, my time to shine hello, who indicates that Robert Downey Jr. is indeed headed back to the MCU for Secret Wars and talks to bring him back for Armor Wars. I also mentioned during the prologue that just weeks ago I did a video explaining that one of the execs over at Marvel did a pretty good job not admitting that's why they turned Armor Wars into a film, that it was just simply too big and would impact movies going forward that of course all sounded like the return of RDJ so that he could show up in Secret Wars. Now in that video, I argued it would most likely be as AI, which many times in the comics he's shown up as AI, especially with Ironheart, which that series is right around the corner. And I doubt again, he'll show up in anything to do with Disney Plus. He's simply too big for that. But by that same logic, I've also argued having Tony Stark back as AI might not make sense for either party, Disney or Robert Downey Jr., where you'd pay Robert Robert Downey Jr. this huge sum of money and then defy his performance also might lack the same impact as if we see Tony Stark in the flesh come from across the multiverse. If he's truly going to show up in Armor Wars, AI seems like the most likely scenario. But admittedly, by the time Armor Wars comes out, we'll be really close to Secret Wars, perhaps after Kang Dynasty. And the multiverse by this point may be in several layers of disrepair, who knows what's possible. But to be fair, and as we've already seen as canon in the MCU, especially during the Loki series, having multiple variants of Tony Stark is not off the table, meaning we could see the Tony Stark Robert Downey Jr. from the 616 as AI show up in Armor Wars, but by the time we get to the end of Secret Wars with that ultimate battle, you could see a variant or multiple of Tony Stark show up and really serve double duty because A, it'll be way more impactful to have him there in the flesh, but B, you get to do one of the crazy Iron Man variants that have been done from the comics, especially something like a superior Iron Man variant, which was all over the rumor mill. And admittedly, the writer on Multiverse of Madness saw those rumors and reports about Tony Stark being played by Tom Cruise as a superior Iron Man variant and has admitted on record he even approached Kevin Feige if that was possible. So he's seen that fans are calling for a superior Iron Man of sorts. It's not out of the question we may see that and or many RDJs return for Secret Wars, which puts the rest of this on the table and something I think really bears saying now as we are still two or three years away from this movie, maybe even longer with the slate delays incoming that everyone keeps reporting. Keep in mind, guys, the only reason we really cared during Spider-Man No Way Home when Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire came out of those portals is because we saw the backstory for those Spider-Men. If you make it so that two other Spider-Man variants show up, but their characters were not connected with, it wouldn't have near the impactfulness. So this really works in two ways. Number one, if they're gonna bring Robert Downey Jr. back, they really have to focus on how they tell that story to make it impactful so that we care when he shows up again. 
Number two, the same can be said for multiple variants across all of the multiverse. We need to actually know their backstory and connect with them as characters for this to matter, because just seeing a ton of variants of characters is fine, but we didn't connect to all the Loki variants that we saw during the show, only the ones that they focused on and gave us some story for. The reason I bring this up is there's only a limited number of projects, both films and TV shows alike between now and Secret Wars to get this sort of story told. Outside of Multiverse of Madness, we've really only focused on the 616 story, so it's going to be interesting and important for Marvel Studios as they go forward on how they want to focus on the multiverse and multiverse characters, and if we're going to get to see variants, I don't want to get ahead of myself too much, but there actually is an awesome place for them to explore some of this that maybe isn't as apparent to others, and while we've been writing off the animation side of Marvel, I think there may still be some tricks up their sleeves, but they have to explore these variants and actually give them meaning, because just having them all pour out of portals and doing another Avengers Endgame is not going to cut it, especially when it comes to RDJ. And you have to imagine, from Robert Downey Jr.'s point of view, regardless of how many zeros are on this check to come back, his first and foremost most important demand is going to be to make sure that they do it right, that the script is correct, and if not, then he's not going to do it. Also, you may have seen recently, the news just keeps getting brought up that Jon Favreau asked Marvel Studios not to kill off Tony Stark at the end of Avengers Endgame, and while I argue his sacrifice was probably necessary to make it the story, the magnitude that it is, I would also argue that if they hadn't killed him off because he was one of the main point of view characters and then erased Captain America basically from the scene by making him Old Man Cap and disappeared, that we may still have a point of view character basically like a quarterback that would have brought us through this phase and everybody would have cared just a little bit more. And I don't mind that they've moved those characters on, but outside of maybe Shang-Chi, which has had one film, they haven't really developed who that character is. And if we don't get that character, then there can't be a meaningful moment. It would seem weird to me if Marvel Studios would just want to go back to RDJ for another big sacrifice. Imagine you can't have him just doing another snap all of a sudden, or maybe you can. And for that, I will leave the floor open for you guys to let me know down in the comments. How in the world do you want them to bring RDJ back? Which movie, AI, in the flesh, which version? You tell me your best idea about how to do it. I am all ears as always. Quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. Okay, first and foremost, thank you to everyone who has subscribed. We hit a million subscribers. It is absolutely unbelievable. I've done everything from laugh and cry in the last 24 hours. I am so thankful for the community we've built here. I'm so thankful for each one of you. And that's why I do the giveaways, bottom line. It's really just to give back to you guys. Um, we have a new winner. So the winner for the 1 million subscriber PlayStation is Michael Greenfeld. Congratulations. All you have to do, DM me on my Instagram or email me on my business email under the about section on my channel. I'll verify your account and get it right out to you guys. And it's that simple. We're going to keep giving away PlayStations, but rather than do 100,000 or million marks like we've done in the past to do them more frequently here at the channel, we're going to do them to coincide with uh, Marvel movies. So the next PlayStation will be given away with the release date of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, which is literally just over a month away. So if you want to be entered to win, all you have to do, and it'll apply for all the giveaways here at the channel, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will always be announced in the videos on screen with me talking like this, never in the comments. So guys, please, please, please be wary of any spammers or scammers on my channel. They're all over YouTube, especially in our little corner of YouTube. I've seen them on my friends' channels. YouTube knows about them. They're doing the best they can. But in the meantime, if you see those comments, report them. No YouTuber will ever ask you to talk to them on Telegram or WhatsApp. No YouTuber will ever charge for shipping. That's not what we do. Please report those comments. Be wary, be safe, be vigilant. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at I Am Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. And while I'd sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon. Thank <laughs> you.